evening all. It's October the 13th and it's uh, just before 10 o'clock. And I must say, I'm absolutely disgusted with my football club today. I really am. I th- I th- there are some games where you just question why you bother anymore. And I'm doing it today because we conceded twice at Wrexham. We scored four goals and we conceded twice. What's that about? For those, for those who are curious, I'm, I'm being really sarcastic now. Um, in case you haven't guessed because to go to second league and win 4-2 considering we couldn't hit a pass the door before today is an amazing result I'm over the moon right now and it's been a great day despite the fact that the train companies did their best to screw me over with everything in fact I'll share this, share this with you in a moment basically for those who don't know it, there's two train stations Castle and Northgate Northgate is like your main line between uh, to London and also goes to like places like Lincoln, you go Peterborough, Edinburgh, so on and so forth. Castle, basically go through that to get to Nottingham. Um, so I, I was going to go up to Lincoln to get on the official coach to go to the games, uh, the game, um, and the train was supposed to leave Northgate at 20 past 8. It gets to about 25 past 8, and it's saying the train is still leaving on time, despite the fact that it's already five minutes late and not at the station. And Northgate is the departing station, by the way. Um, so it's not so it's not like um, it's coming from another place and it gets delayed there. It's not it's supposed to be the, the thing. Anyway, it gets to about twenty five two, and uh, they're still saying yeah it's all on time. Before then, they decide to announce that there's been a, a problem at Collingham, uh, which is a village, a small town, straight village, just about halfway between Lincoln and Newark. Um, and so they, uh, the train's going to be delayed. Now, by this point, I'm already going to be late for the, for the coach, potentially, anyway. So I decided to get on the train to go to, um, to, go to Wrexham, which I wasn't planning, which involved several changes at, um, um, at Nottingham, Derby, Crewe, Chester and Wrexham. And then the exact same journey on the way back, obviously reverse, before someone gets pedantic. Um, now that is eight trains to catch throughout the entire day. Um, how many do you think turned up on time or left on time? Eight? No, nah, don't be fucking silly. This is England. Seven? No. And still be far too good. Six? No. Five? No. Four? No. Three? No. Two? One? Did, did at least one turn up on time or leave on time? No. Eight trains, not a single one, turned up or left when it was supposed to. I mean, luckily, I still got to the game in plenty of time, and I still got back in plenty of time. But fuck me, eight, none of eight trains to turn up is ridiculous. But, you know what, it was worth it in the end, winning 4-2 at a team that's second in the league, uh, been in the playoffs for the last two years. I think pretty soon. Um and um, and the unbeaten at home since last season considering we had a one away since last season I'm absolutely delighted to win 4-2 I'd have been delighted with any win but to win 4-2 um, is a brilliant result considering they didn't deserve 2 they might have deserved 1 but the farm didn't really have a save to make it's, it was just a bystander for most of the game Whereas we created chance after chance after chance. and um, But, you know, I'm not going to complain at a 4 2 win. And any Lincoln fan that does is <laughs> fucking mental. Um, so, yeah. Um, right, there's a few things and updates regarding the videos. Firstly, it's we have a new website uh, for the videos. Um, www.lincolncityawaydays.blogspot.co.uk there I will post all the videos, they'll still be going on YouTube, but there I will post all the videos um, as well, as well as um, my thoughts on football, maybe some reviews of new grounds that I go to, and so on and so forth. It'll basically be a proper experience rather than just a video channel. Now at the moment it's pretty basic, it's just got the one video on there at the moment, which is the Mantua game from Numa 9. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get that out there, so link to uk. Now, with regards to the next game, um, away game, our next away game isn't until, um, isn't for another month, and it's away at Barrow, 
assuming that cup, assuming that the cup draws uh, either don't well, we've been drawn at home in the FA Cup qualifiers against Halifax. So assuming that, that doesn't go to replay, I'm working on the assumption that either if we do go through to the first round proper we're at home, or we just don't go through, our next away game is in a month at Barrow. There will be a video because it's a Bantry bus trip. Um, so yeah, so there will be a video for that. Um, as other than that, I don't really know our fixtures that well. If you bear me a moment, I can find out for you. Um, so yeah, uh, it's just I couldn't be happy right now. I'm in a good mood, despite the fact one Wrexham fan on the way back was extremely bitter about us beating them. It just got me, me, Billy, Dan, and a few of us were just talking, and he went, "You do know you beat our reserve side." I don't even know why I just said that in a Scottish accent. It's supposed to be Scouse. I'm terrible at accents, people who've never met me, by the way. Um, yeah, and we just went, well, I don't really care, it's a win's a win. And they just started to berate us, and it was like, I really wanted to just get, just sort of fact him out. Like, say, for example, he kept on saying, oh, we've got the best squad in the division, we'll walk this division. And I was so tempted, I was so tempted just to say, what I mean, like last two years where we've gone out in the playoffs to the same team. I don't think it have gone down too well, but it's just like, bloody hell, it's a uh, talk about sore loser. Um, but anyway, away games. Um, we got Barrow on the 10th, 10th of November, where there will be a video. We've got Southport on the 30th of November, which is a Friday night. Uh, I'll be going, but I'm not entirely sure, um, I'm not exactly sure exa what, um, what will be happening. Yes. Okay, that's weird. Sorry, I'm just uh, distracted at the moment. Uh, sorry. That's really weird. I'm not going to say what it is, but... <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, South Park, I'm not entirely sure. Dartford, probably. I'll be in London anyway, so it makes no difference to me. Because um, I'll be going down on the train day after Macclesfield. Always up for a trip to Macclesfield. Um, then FA Cup second round day. Oh no, it's like FA Trophy day. <laughs> I wonder which shit team we'll be, we'll be losing to this year after our efforts um, to lose to Carl Shelton Athletic last year. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there and uh, leave you all to that. But I just wanted to give you an update regarding that website. Uh, so feel free to go on, follow the website, um, and you'll get all the updates. And yeah, just go for it. And it's, uh, I'll try and make it as best as what I can. And we'll go from there.